as uh, happens every year, then they should do what uh, they do every year and stay at, at home and, and not risk infection of their, of their colleagues. And that's, that's normal and commonsensical. So we are now very close to the time, probably within the next uh, 10 to 14 days, when the modelling would imply we should move to a situation where we say everybody who has even minor respiratory tract infections or a fever uh, should be self-isolating for seven days afterwards. And this is going to be the next step. We have not yet reached that step, but we are going to be reaching that step in the really quite near future. And this is what we wanted to lay out as the first step along a path towards trying to reduce, firstly, the, the delay of the epidemic, it's part of the overall contained delay in research and mitigate strategy, and then to pull down the peak of this epidemic so that it is smaller than it would have been if we don't take these interventions. Yeah. They were the first country in Europe to actually ban flights at that stage from, uh, from China, uh, and they also uh, looked at airport screening. Uh, and as you can see, uh, this is not cause and effect, but that has not been a reason to actually slow down the epidemic in that country. The phenomenon, the epidemiology, uh, may be different from one country to, to the next. And I think it's very, very important that we in the UK are guided by the best and the latest scientific advice, and that's, that's what we're doing. And just to, on your second point about containment and, containment and delay, uh, as and when we may move into the delay phase, it's obvious that we're not abandoning a contain. Uh, because clearly we're going to want to contain uh, as well as, as delay the outbreak. Um, I, I just, it's very important that, you know, the, the government, that just because you move from one phase to other doesn't mean the ambition of containing uh, the outbreak has been uh, abandoned. Right. Well, we're certainly confident that we have fantastic supply chains. I know that uh, both, uh, both George Eustace and, and Matt have been talking about Hancock, been talking to uh, the supermarkets, yeah. making sure that uh, uh, we keep things moving. Uh, just in, in terms of, of, of preparations and, and uh, where the public is, I, I think it's very, very important that everybody should behave uh, responsibly and, and think about others. Uh, we will be setting out, as I say, in the course of the next uh, few days, uh, what further measures we think may be necessary. I stress, I stress may be necessary. We think it's, it's probable that we'll go to uh, a delay phase, but we'll be spelling out what is uh, useful and appropriate for the public to do in the course of the next few days. So uh, there will be a meeting of the, uh, the Scientific Advisory Group on Emergencies uh, tomorrow, and then uh, a further COBRA on Wednesday uh, to, to consider the next steps. ...to uh, grow and, and uh, become an even bigger national challenge. That's, that, that is pretty obvious.